Service dogs are trained to work or perform tasks for people with disabilities, and Four Paws and Wake Up NC is holding a fundraiser this Sunday so they can raise more money to continue their mission of training service dogs. And here to tell us more is Pat and Rick Harrison. So good to have you here with us. And you've also got with you uh, Desmond and Jordan, Jordan, right? Correct. So Desmond's over here and this mm -hmm. is Jordan. Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. Well, I got to tell you, Jordan is just like at attention. Now, Desmond's right. a little bit of a, a wild card this morning, yeah, right? Yeah, Desmond's only nine months old. So he's he's got a lot to learn in the, in the meantime, but he's coming along well. He's got to get used to the studio surroundings exactly. and everything yeah, else, right? Is Jordan is, is, is more experienced and he's kind of, okay, this is nothing new. So you've got a fundraiser coming up this weekend. Tell me a little bit we about do. that. So um, a nonprofit, we need funds for operating and our goal right now is to raise funds to get ourselves into a facility so that we can bring in more <coughs> rescue dogs and train more dogs and get them ready for people with disabilities. And it's very interesting, <coughs> I think, what you do. You go around and you go to animal rescues and if you identify a dog that you think can be trained, to become a service dog, you get that dog and mm -hmm. it, they go through a, a series of training, right? Yeah, they'll train for anywhere from um, a year to about two years, depending on the age of the dog. So Desmond is just nine months old now. Um, he has a, probably another year of training and he will be actually harnessed to help somebody with balance and support because he's quite a big boy, even for his age. Um, and the fundraiser will, it's just a good time. It's uh, from 1 to 3 p.m. at Waterman's Brewing. They graciously opened up their facility for us. We have some excellent raffle items that will go on and we'll talk about our program and introduce our dogs to, to folks so they can get to know us a little better about with this organization. So great food, beer, and dogs. What more could you ask for, right? Great now, Rick, Rick, I got to ask you, you know, why did you and your wife found this organization? What was your motivation for doing this? Um, I had originally founded Canines for Service. And um, in June, we ended up parting ways. Um, it was a calling from God, and it was never one of those that God stopped the calling. So okay. if one door closes, another one opens, and we decided it was time to go ahead and start another new organization that's going to be based on quality. All right. And what's the reaction been from some of the folks who have received a service dog that you've trained? They've been phenomenal. Um, they have changed their lives. They've been able to give them independence that they hadn't had for years, if ever. Um, so it becomes a, a way of transforming somebody's life who has, in a lot of cases, been a veteran and working for our country and giving up not only individual freedoms, but in some cases, giving up their health and being able to give them a dog to help them recuperate. Some of that is the best we can do. And having that independence is so very important to all of us. Really. It is. It so is. once again, this fundraiser will be taking place this Sunday, November the 17th. It's going to be at Waterman's Brewing from 1 to 3 p.m. Individual tickets are $25. Couple tickets are $45. You can come out, have food, meet the dogs, learn more about the program. And also another program that you offer for pet owners like me, where I could have my dog trained over a course of a six-week period to go into nursing homes and help out to, you know. Yes. You know. Make people happy. Make yes. them feel better. So your, your program is just phenomenal, and we're thank so glad you. to have you here this thank morning you. to share more pleasure. about it. And thank you thank to Jordan you. and also Desmond. Desmond is kind of quiet now, right? Yeah, yeah, he's taking it all in. All right. <laughs> all right. If you have a community event or a nonprofit you want to share with our viewers, please let us know about it. Email newsroom at wwaytv3.com to get more information on scheduling an interview for Good Morning Carolina.